Hey guys, my name's Morgan Hart. I'm a co-host and I'm in 11th grade. I'm Molly. I'm also a co-host and I'm in 10th grade and our guests are Kenna Moore. I'm a senior. Sydney Hemi. I'm a junior. For today we're going to be talking about Inside an Eagle and basically we're going to be explaining the mental game of softball. Okay, so some of like our questions are so how did you take like our first loss of the season? Obviously, like we had an incredible season, but when we had our first loss, obviously to like a great team, like how did you see that in the moment? Um, honestly, I feel like we were all disappointed, but I really do feel like it helped us and like it like made us more like relaxed while playing because I feel like everyone was a little tight because mm -hmm. we had such a high expectation. I feel like I don't know any other way to say it, but it was like a weight off of our shoulders mm -hmm. in a way, especially to a team that we don't have like any rival connections with. Like they're just strictly a good team against tough t competition. But I think the fact that it was a team that we also didn't have any like not like drama or anything, but like a team that we didn't have any pressure playing. Yeah, like there was no, it was there was no local. rivalry. Yeah, there yeah. was no rivalry right. there. It was just a good team versus a good team, and for that to be our loss, I feel like it was just like yeah, a weight off your shoulders. It was. It w I wouldn't say it was nice, but like it needed to happen. Yeah, it was like kind of like a loss to where like a scene nobody cared because, like you guys said, like it's not somebody we that was like our rival, but then they also went on to win the Oklahoma State Championship. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and like every single one of our losses, well, our two m like losses, first of all, the first one was the loss of team mm -hmm. and they won state. And the, the second one, they went to state. Like they and you guys came back and beat them the next time yeah. you played them. So like, yeah. Oh, don't forget about Polly County. Okay, yeah, but <laughs> we weren't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but also like, you can just go look at Owasso, I think is how you say mm -hmm. it. And <coughs> And just looking at their lineup, they have probably half that lineup, if not more, is committed D1. Oh, yeah. And they're going big. Like, their center fielder is committed to Oklahoma State. Yeah. And their catcher is like committed to Mizzou. Like and I'm pretty sure their third baseman or someone on the team was committed to Missouri State. And their mm. ace pitcher was committed to a D1 school out in Alabama. It's like, just like, and I grew up playing some of those girls, too. Mm, yeah. And they played for... No, orange Oklahoma team. There, I know elite. That oh, I Tulsa Elite. That oh, one yeah. they grew up mm -hmm. playing. And so growing up playing them, like, you know it was a stacked yeah. team. And, like, so you could just tell. But yes. the way they carried themselves, the way they played, the way they competed, like, you could tell they all, all of them played at a high level. Yes. yes. Like, there was no, not one person that just, like, didn't, like, that stuck out. That was like, okay, yeah, you don't really belong here. Yeah. yeah. Everybody played. And I feel like that was also kind of the thing with, like, our team is there's, like, not one person on, like, I don't even know if I, in our organization or in our, like, school that plays softball that, like, hadn't played before high school season. That yeah. was just, like, hey, I want to go try right. out. Like, right. But also with our team, I feel like this year, like, everybody played together or played against oh, each other growing up. Agree. Like, me and Olivia and Madison and Sydney Wagner, like, we all played for Top Gun for a really long time. And then you joined, and you and Wags played together, and we always played against you. And um, Sal and KP played for the originals, and we would always play against each other. It was like our rivals growing up. We didn't play you as much, but, like, there was times here and there that we played you just because you're, I mean, a grade younger. But, like, mm -hmm. when you think about all of us playing and how much we've played each other, we've all grown up friends in a sense, yeah. too, because yeah. we know each other and we know what we can do. So when we brought our team together like that – that's when you see really good teams come out when they have that chemistry and yeah, like connection. Yeah, the chemistry was crazy. Like the amount of people that came up and was like, it was like the chemistry in that dugout is just crazy. Like, cause we, everybody liked each other. And we all got along. Like, there was no like drama. There was no like, oh my god, I don't like her. Oh my god, she's annoying. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yeah. everybody got along. I mean, obviously, there's gonna be like little tiffs here and there because oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're we 17, <laughs> 18 year old girls. <laughs> like, it's gonna, there's gonna be fights. But also, like, there was never like long term drama. It'd be no. like a little tiff in the dugout that you'd like fight for like five minutes and you walk away and it's game time and like you forget that you yeah. were even like having yeah. a little disagreement yeah, exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so what what mental aspects have helped you through softball um me personally 
like I think failing is like a very important thing for me like being able Mm -hmm. to fail being able to like have the chance to fail I think just like really teaches me and like controlling what I can control as I've learned a lot and um I just think like the failures that I've had in the past like has helped me tremendously Mm -hmm. oh (laughs) gosh Mm. I would uh, controlling what you control would be a big thing um because there's been these past couple seasons where like I did not play good at all and like I would just like hang my head like really low and I had one season specifically that like ended it for me where I just did not play good but I also was so worried around like what everyone else was doing around me like how I was gonna affect them when in the long run I just need to worry about the small things that I could do to help my team where I was so scared to like ruin other people's games Mm -hmm. or like ruin it for everybody else that I feel like that took like a big thing for me like it made me (laughs) not like self as much (laughs) so that was probably my biggest one for me I would say it was injury (laughs) um during this season, I <laughs> broke my hand. Morgan, tell us how you broke your hand. Tell the podcast <laughs> how you broke your hand. Okay, a little backstory. Um, it was on a box jump. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my fifth meta. Is it metacarpal or metatarsal? Meta- or metatarpal. Carpal. Yeah, my fifth metacarpal bone. How is that doing, by the way? It's it's cleared. Oh, she's, she's it doing looks great. She's she looks doing great. great. Um. Anyways, so I was robbed of my last, like, month of high school Mm -hmm. ball, and it's, like, obviously very defeating because you're seeing all of your best friends out there playing and having fun and being able to do the things that you're not able to do, and it's just defeating because it's, like, obviously I would do anything to be on the field with them and, like, to be helping my team, and so I definitely feel like that has helped me, like, realizing that... (laughs) I'll, like, come out better and stronger after this injury and, like, taking a step back, it'll just make me stronger in the end. And I feel like injury has definitely helped mm-hmm. my mental game. So I feel like my biggest, like, I wouldn't say, like, mental growth. Well, yeah, mental growth would be, like, how until, like, the past, like, year and a half, I only the way I saw my growth was like comparing myself Mm -hmm. like instead of actually like paying attention to like oh I gained a couple miles an hour this year or oh I like hit 400 this year I like compared myself to like how was the best person on our team doing like yeah how was I hitting compared to the like number one hitter on our team like how many strikeouts did I have compared to a pitcher not even on our team like that was the thing that I looked at but then this past year like year and a half travel ball and high school ball I was just like okay how can I grow myself to like be better over the Mm -hmm. next year I feel like comparison also was a really big thing for me growing up not necessarily the people around me but so to say but like more so my sister I feel like I don't talk about it a lot but my sister was really good at softball and she liked it a lot more than I did for a long time um and she went really far with it and uh, and had a lot of success so growing up being the younger sister like we would go to these like big events with like extended family who I hadn't seen in forever and like everyone would go straight to her and be like oh you're the softball superstar and I'd be standing right there and like I just had like I just got ranked in extra inning softball or something and I'm like yeah okay nobody sees what I do because I'm in the shadows of my older sister or I only get to be here because my older sister was here first and putting a good thing for me so I feel like that also took a big situation on my softball career it made me not like softball because I didn't want to be like my sister I didn't want everyone to think I only had success because she had success here first so I thought that's why I was getting it and I feel like honestly that had a huge thing to me like ending my softball career was comparison and honestly I haven't gotten much better at it but also like not having to stress about the recruiting process or anything like that and like not making softball my identity which I really did for a really long time Mm -hmm. has taken like a big weight off the shoulders when it comes to comparison well like one of the things that like because I just started playing with like Top Gun like two years ago and other than that I was playing like you know like non um travel ball so I would like just stay in town like I wasn't like 
I mean, I was okay, but I wasn't like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, like, when I got up to that level with those players, like, like I, I'm not going to say anything like, th- like, calling anything out, but, like, I was, like, the underdog. Like, I was, like, the person that was in the shadows of, like, everybody. And, like, I just felt like that was so big because I felt like I had to be perfect. Like, if I m- had a bad game, like, I felt everybody was just, like, well, she's just, like, what you know what I mean? Like just the average kid from yeah, this little town exactly, that nobody's yeah. heard of. And mm. it's just, like, I think that took a really big toll on, like, what I'm doing now. Because I never <laughs> thought I would, like – be playing softball in college (laughs) so yeah well another big thing I feel like is recruiting right now like comparing yourself to like other kids and where they're going yeah is like a huge thing because like you'll see girls who will go to power five d1 schools who will never touch the field but it'll make you feel like oh my gosh like I didn't do good enough like I face this girl all the time why is she going here why I can't I get here like I feel like recruiting like can take such a big toll on people's mental health because that yeah. is I mean that's what you work for like I remember <coughs> sitting down and having the conversation <laughs> with my dad that I didn't want to play competitive softball anymore and that did not go o- it went over well my dad's very supportive of me but like that conversation like took a lot because everything like we've done we're working for is to get recruited yeah and you spend thousands and oh thousands God. of dollars i remember my last summer i played on top gun i feel like i went to texas and then we flew home for a couple of days and then we went to texas again yeah. like you guys just from florida and like you're going to colorado and yeah. california and it's like all these places and you're doing all of this just to get recruited by yeah. a college coach yeah. so i feel like recruiting in comparison with recruiting would be oh a huge God. thing with mental it's health. huge because it's just like it's just like <coughs> well because like like, if you, like, see people, like, say you play someone all the time, you see them play, and you're, like, then they commit to, like, this big school. I'm, like, I'm sorry. Like, it just doesn't make sense. But well, softball's also a lot about, like, who you know in the business. Like, if you know someone and, like, he has high up, like, connections, oh yeah, you're going to get sure. recruited big. It's just the fact that I don't know if you're going to play there. Because I've played girls where they're committed to a big school. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm terrified to pitch to this person. They're going to a huge school. And then you see them play, and you're like, wait a minute. No, right. I'm like, like wait. <laughs> what is <laughs> Are we sure are that's we sure? school? I'm <laughs> thinking. <laughs> it's just one thing, like, I also think about when it comes down to the recruiting process is because, like, I'm still, like, I'm early in the process. I have a whole nother year to go. But it's also, like, I go into these tournaments, like, obviously, like, going down to Texas this weekend and stuff. And I'm thinking, like, okay, I know we're playing these big organizations. Like, I see coaches at our games, it's because they're looking at either our name or they're looking at the other team's name or they're looking at just the overall game in general. So whether they're watching me, they're watching the left fielder for the other team, the thing that I'm thinking about is, like, how can I stand out in this game? I could be sitting the bench or I could be, I don't know, I could be pitching that game, but, like, I have to think, like, what can I do to stand out? And as a pitcher, I'm like, if it's a great hitting team, I'm like, okay, need to get outs. If it's, yeah. like, a, a great defensive team, it's like, okay, how can I put the ball in play or how can I, like, get a good battle? So it's like – Well, yeah. such a big thing about pitching, too, that I feel like that goes unlooked – because we're all pitchers except Morgan, sorry, <laughs> is that not – you can be a great pitcher and not strike out a bunch yeah. of people. Like – the biggest thing is, like, from a rice ball pitcher, like, I my goal is to get pot flies in the yeah. air. Like, that's my goal. Yeah. I know you're a big drop ball pitcher, yeah. and your goal is to get ground easy ground balls for your players to make. And I feel like that goes so unlooked sometimes when people are, like, looking at pitchers just because – you sh- like you don't have to strike out yeah. 16 people to be a mm-hmm. dominant pitcher. Yeah. Like if I yeah. get 10 pot flies that game, I'm going to be happy with the outcome of the game yeah. because that means I did my job. And I feel and like, like that goes honestly, unlooked. Molly, like – I get, like, you're thinking about all that stuff, but, like, honestly, you, you, you can't. I know. Like, yeah. you have <laughs> you to. Just just yeah, you just got to play the game. Yeah, you just have to. Because it doesn't matter, like, you, like, it. I promise you, if a coach sees you, say you're on, say you're off, mm-hmm. they're going to see through it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, you could have the worst game of your life, and I promise you it will not scare a coach away. 
what was like your they emotional also weight? look at the way you react to exactly. diversity yeah. and like stuff. You just have to like control what you can control. If mm. they're just hitting them <coughs> and you can't miss a barrel, I mean, it is what it is. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a big thing they're going to look at too is attitude and how you react to people hitting things. Like I feel like you're a really good example of that. If like someone gets a hit off of you, you just shrug it off and you <laughs> push the next pitch. Like you laugh. Like that's what college coaches look yeah. for, not girls who are like really mean and are yeah. like, this isn't how that. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like throw fit about it. Because you'll find where you're you you'll go where you're meant to go. I'm yeah. honest. Mm. Like the thing that like when you talk about like initiating plays and stuff, like the most draw balls I ever threw in a game was definitely probably when we played Neo Show. And that was like and that was the best game I've yeah. ever seen. It that was, was yeah, it was that great. was fired up. That <laughs> mm, mm, nah, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> And then like that was the most balls I've maybe ever fielded like in my life. I got like eight or nine plays at pitcher yeah. and I was just like I thought, oh my gosh, this was like I thought it yeah, was Yeah, and I can't field grumbles. <laughs> <laughs> I can't call them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's Hmm. Let's go. What do you guys think is the biggest difference between high school ball and travel ball? Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Obviously, the girls you play with. Yeah, the girls you play with and, like, coaching. The pressure. I feel like when I play – okay, well, I haven't played travel ball in a, in a long time. But – not really. But, like, you know, like, mm. high, high. When I played with Top Gun, it was, like, always stressful because of recruiting. And, like, especially, like, coaching, like, you really didn't want to disappoint your coaches in travel ball because, like, mm. they I, – I feel like there's so much more higher expectations when it comes to travel ball because when, like, you're wearing Top Gun or you're wearing Select or you're wearing these big names, like, you aren't supposed to mess up in those, like, other people's eyes, you know, because yeah. you are the best of the best. So you yeah. need to play, like, the best of the best. But when playing with Grain Valley, I feel like it's, like, almost a weight off your shoulders. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. you want to do as best as you can, and you don't want to upset your coaches at all. But it's, like, nobody knows where you came from. I mean, people do, but not, like, nobody can look at yeah. you and be, like, she plays for Top Gun. She has to be good, you know? It's, like, a it's like a weight off your shoulders in high school ball. It's less pressure. It's more. It's supposed um, to be more fun. Mm-hmm. I would say, actually, the opposite of <laughs> which is... <laughs> <laughs> the only reason, the only reason was because, um, like I had, like I had committed, okay, cool, whatever, and like, I hate when people would re- like refer to me as like the D one pitcher. Like I hated it because it's like I'm a normal pitcher. Like I'm not like special just because I'm going like a s- to a college. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And like everybody knew me. You know what I mean? But like in comp ball, like I'm just every like if I make a mistake, I'm just like a, a normal player. I feel like. Mm-hmm. This high school ball season, especially, especially with, like, how good we were doing and everything, there was a lot of pressure. I don't know about you well, pitchers, but... It, you also, <laughs> like, me and Molly are going to say it. You are our ace pitcher. You yeah. were on fire this year, <laughs> and you did a good job. So I feel like that also had a bunch of pressure and weight on your yeah. shoulders because we're breaking records, and yeah. we were undefeated, mm-hmm. and you ne- you were the pitcher when it came to the yeah. hard, tough games. And I feel like that probably ha- made a lot of pressure for it, too. And then it was also, like, everybody's else else's expectations, which mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. normally really good about, like, not like you know what i mean just like not doing it but like this season especially it was just like like i would be the person in the dugout to say oh can i more pitching like i don't <laughs> really need to do anything <laughs> like nothing's gonna get it. i did that i said that <laughs> so like it, it's kind of the opposite for me just simply because like like this high school season was just like so much pressure and like getting back into like the top gun like i'm just a normal pitcher like compared to like the people i play with like i'm just like just like their mm, picture. Like <laughs> yeah. Like I'm just freaking Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go? I was gonna say, like oh do you guys feel that like oh no, what was that? <laughs> <sighs> I don't remember what I was gonna say though. I had a really good question, but then I'll probably come back to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, go. <laughs> do you guys feel like once you get recruited or once you commit that like the rest of your travel ball and all that is just like fun like you're literally just playing to play at that point like um honestly like since I was so late to like the recruiting process because I I really was really Mm -hmm. late to it 
Um, like, but I honestly, like, this is just me, just because I, like, I knew going into it, like, there's a school that will want me, there's a school that will, like, get me, like, there's a school that I will find, I don't need to stress, so, like, I, like, during last high school, uh, not high school, last summer ball, like, I wasn't stressed, like, it was always, like, free to me, because I knew that there was going to be a school that wanted me, and that I wanted to go to. It didn't matter, like, what level. It didn't matter anything. Like, I never was really stressed. So, like, I could say that, like, I'm more, like, I play more freely. But, like, it's not that, it's not true. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of the same for me. Because it's just, like, I never felt pressure. I never felt like I had to pitch good this game. Like, if I had a bad game and a college coach didn't like me because I had that bad game, like, then it obviously was not the school for me. Like, it obviously just not a coach that I wanted to play for. So that was kind of my thought process going into the whole recruiting thing. But it worked for me, but it might not work for everybody. I feel like a big thing that comes down to softball, I, I can't speak that much because obviously <laughs> yeah, I quit softball <laughs> and I'm not going to school to play softball. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I would say a big thing that had to do with how I treated the recruiting process when I was trying to get recruited was well I obviously have a big <laughs> I have a big faith and and having a faith I feel like was like a big part of me being relieved when it came to softball I feel like if I didn't like trust God as much as I did I would have been stressed way 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 more but ultimately I feel like what Kenna said, if you have, like, a faith and you just know that God's going to put you where you're supposed to go, you won't really be stressing about yeah. it. Because if, like, you have to think about it. If a coach sees you mess up, but you get right back up, back up and you have a positive energy and you show you want to be there, and they completely count you out because you had a bad game, that just shows the type of person they are. Mm -hmm. And you obviously don't want to play for a school that has and a coach that... that much sums up the person that they are. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my my God. God. I <laughs> and, like, you want to play for a coach that has the same value as you and sees, mm -hmm. sees what you see and, and, and people. And so I feel like when I was getting recruited, that's how I looked at it. Obviously now college coaches don't scare me because <laughs> I don't want to play college <laughs> softball, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like that's how I would have handled it if I did. The thing that like, not that like I'm looking at schools obviously, but in teams in general, like the things I look at the most is like culture obviously like it can't be like a group of like a set of like five different girls <laughs> and three i really want to say something okay that we're talking about culture and go for and, it and comp softball that really annoys me okay go. we will have teams that have the best chemistry you've ever seen played together since we were younger they might not all be going power five d1 but they are a solid team because of the chemistry and then you break apart the team and you bring girls in from the East Coast and the West Coast and from the South and you bring them and you mix them into like multiple different teams and then that team doesn't really succeed because you bring all these big power five D1 players who are used to being the best on their team into a different team with girls they have no chemistry with and then you don't succeed see them succeeding and, and winning a bunch of games like they tear apart the thing of softball just to like say oh yep everybody on my team is going like power yeah. five d1 like that is my biggest pet peeve about softball right now and i can say it right now because i don't play for a competitive team uh, yeah my s <coughs> my sister did that and i feel like it was the worst decision they could have I mean they could have made like I get getting into the organization like getting a few girls but like completely tearing apart a team or like trying to like separate teams just to say like I have all these commits on your or team like bringing bringing people that like live in freaking Alabama and then they just travel like we don't know them no don't you don't you yeah. just hey, let's play together really fast. Exactly. Like, I don't really yeah. know you. This yeah. might be a little bit... Uh, like, I just feel like it ruins the whole purpose of playing the game. And I just... When you said that, I just had to say, like, I hate, 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 hate that about yeah. competitive softball. That is my mm. biggest pet peeve. I don't understand why you would tear apart a team that succeeds so, so, so highly to say, oh, well, I have a bunch of commits from here, here, and here, yeah. and here. And half of them didn't even come from that organization. It came from the organization they just left. And, so. like, a lot of coaches are high profile. And mm -hmm. I will say that because it's true. Like, there's coaches out there that will, like, 
just do it for the high profile that do it for the not for the kids and for themselves like mm-hmm. and there like there's coaches out there that do it and i mean it just kind of proves the person they are so yeah, yeah. Okay, well, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That, <laughs> just, that was my biggest pet peeve, and I haven't really talked about it. Ever. I went to a camp last Sunday, and there was a coach there, and they were talking about, like, obviously a Q&A and, like, the whole recruiting process, and, like, one of the girls asked, like, what do you look for whenever you're recruiting? And he was like, above anything, I look at your character and the way you're going to fit in with my team. He was like, yep. I have a roster of about 22 girls, and those 22 girls are, like, best friends and they're like sisters and they're like so close and he was like you can be the best player and like you can like want to come to my school and be the best player but if you won't fit in with my girls because of your ego or because you're just too high on yourself I will not recruit you he was like I don't care if you're gonna be the best player on my field if you're gonna come in here and ruin this team chemistry then I will not recruit you that's exactly mm-hmm. how it was like I went on a visit I don't remember what which one it was but like they were like they had like an all-american player like a shortstop or something they, they had an all-american player and she her attitude was just so horrible that they they like took her off her way because it was so bad mm-hmm. so like it's less about what your talent is so yeah that's the thing like i think about when like thinking about some of just the midwest organizations like top gun obviously has like expanded over like states over the years select is like primarily midwest like i think farthest girls we have might be like an oklahoma girl or something but we have like missouri illinois iowa kansas nebraska those are our main states so i think like organizations like that even top gun like a lot of you guys are still like close because like a majority of you play play each other in high school ball you are able to practice with each other like last summer we played a team where their coach said yeah our team is built up of 16 girls from 10 different states i'm like they said we practice with each other once a month i'm like i can't imagine that no like i can't imagine having to Mm -hmm. even like fly to meet i feel like a part of that happens once you get older and you do get recruited because i feel like a lot of the high profile like girls and teams are like okay i just committed power five i need to go find a power five team like you know what i mean i need to play with girls Mm -hmm. i'm gonna play with and so they go and they find these teams and then they are all used to being the best player on their team and then it just crashes in their face because they can't win a game because one they don't have chemistry Mm -hmm. you and nobody can convince me you cannot win and have a winning streak or a winning team if you don't have chemistry yeah that will uh, i mean that's the key and two they're used to being the number one on each other's, yeah. like, their own team. So mm-hmm. then you bring in, imagine bringing in 16 girls who are used to being the very best on their team and expecting them to accept that they're all equal. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. That's, like, the best thing with, like, when you get a good culture, like, in a high-level travel team, like, even, like, the team I'm on now, everybody knows their role. Like, you will not have mm-hmm. a number one player. You will not have a number 15 player. You will have just a bunch of girls who, like, you cannot put a number on them on where they're ranked mm-hmm. because no matter how wor- well they work together or, like, how much they like each other, it's going to be, like, just you nine go out on the field this game, you nine go out on the field this game. So yeah. it's just, yeah, that's the, like, fun part. Okay, let's finish this. Let's just go over, like, let's just do a recap of this past season from, like, very beginning to very end, like, <laughs> not every game obviously but just like going through like some of the best competition like from jamboree to like some of the best players we saw on the fields from other teams and then to like our very last game um honestly like i i'm not i'm okay i'm gonna be honest like i feel like a lot of people thought we were gonna suck yeah the jamboree year. was rough the jamboree but then was we not came good. back from that yeah NGKC. like i feel i got a lot of comments on like oh my god we're gonna suck and i if i'm being honest i thought we were gonna suck too like i was like i don't think we're gonna be that good yeah. next year mm-hmm. but i really do think that like a big part of our success was the chemistry yeah. and like i think it just grew more and more each mm. game it was crazy yeah um I think Ray Peck in the GKC was our first big win. Oh, yeah. I think that 
in the beginning, we all kind of doubted ourselves a little yeah, bit. We were all kind of like, okay, well, we just lost, like, Emma O'Rourke and Easton Walker. Like, we lost all these big girls. Like, okay, like, we're probably going to suck now. Like, we don't have anything. Like, we're not that good. So, I feel like in the beginning, we just played for fun. Like, yeah. I feel like that's what started it. We're like, okay, let's just go out and have fun. Like, there's not a lot of pressure. No one's really expecting anything out of us. And then... We made that run in GKC where we were undefeated and then ended up beating Ray Peck. And I feel like that was like almost like an eye opener. I we're like, okay, like we got this. I honestly feel like like during that game, I feel like a lot of people went. I'm, I'm going to be so honest. I went in. I was like, I don't think we're going to win this game. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. And I think the reason why we played so well and we did so well was because we had like that. Oh, well, we'll just play what we have our best. And we played loose. Uh, yeah. I feel like. A big part of our success this season was obviously chemistry, but obviously I feel like there's no pressure behind our backs as much, especially earlier on. So we played less fast and loose, but like I'm, I feel like every single girl who stepped on that field gave it everything they had I completely agree. all the time. Like if they were mad, they had, they gave it all that they could. If they had a bad game, they gave it all that they could later on in the dugout or in a different game. But, like, we pl- gave it all that we had, but we also definitely played for each other. I agree. Like, we were not playing for ourselves. I wasn't – I didn't walk out in the field and was like, okay, I'm going to pitch the best that I can today. It was yeah. like, no, I'm going to pitch the best I can so that we don't lose this game. I'm it's like – pitch to get out. It's like yes, I'm, I'm going to pitch to make strikes. I'm going to pitch to get pop flies. Mm-hmm. And I know, like, when Dog went out, she was like, all right, I'm going to catch everything that comes near me. Like, you see – Madison Rose gets like holy yeah f- it's crazy crap <laughs> but like I feel like uh, our success this year was team chemistry giving it all we had and playing for each other yeah I, I don't think there was one selfish player on the team no mm-hmm. I feel like that's also like going into the Ray Peck game I think everybody's mentality was like okay we made it to the championship let's like it was yeah. the fun of it yeah because yeah. I feel like it's like fun. let's see how much we more we got yeah. yeah I feel like the fun we had also kind of got in their heads so like when they oh realized like <laughs> they scored one run and we didn't care at all like no yeah and then we scored like four or something yeah, yeah so like score. and but literally <laughs> every single walk ball that was thrown every single strikeout kind of had like it was just it was loud. It was loud. Yeah. There was yeah. so much support. If yeah. someone had a bad game, no. And that's the thing. I feel like there was also no pressure because if, like, say I had a bad game, no one was going to be mad at me because I had a bad no. game. Or, and, like, no one, like, if you missed a ball, like, someone would be like, ah, you should have caught that ball. Give him a little bit of crap. And then, like, no one's actually mad no. at you yeah. or going to yell at you or, like, put m- put you down and make you feel bad. That's another thing. And I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of teams, like, they almost, like, take it too seriously. Yeah. Yes. Like, you and KP, for example, like, you guys were always just, like, nabbing at each other in the best way possible no we literally b- i'd be on first and she'd be sitting on second and we'd be making like fat jokes yeah, at each other like like <laughs> and i just feel like you don't like especially i know you guys were doing it during the district championship game and like i don't think you see that you know what mm-hmm. i mean like, especially during such a high pressure like big game you know what i mean and i feel like it's i'm gonna good. cry <laughs> that <laughs> is so sad i miss <laughs> softball season so much actually this okay if this sums up how i felt about this season i hated softball like i i i hated softball with a burning passion but i loved softball this year yeah. like yeah. genuinely i was excited to come to practice and i was excited to play and i was excited when we had team events like and team yeah. things like I, agree. I was just so excited to wake up and know that i played for green valley softball yeah. mm-hmm. like i don't like that doesn't get hurt a lot especially with high school ball but like i loved that team yeah. so much yeah it was i have not had a team that i've like loved and been like oh my gosh it felt like it's so like such like a family and yeah. so long yeah. it was like it was actually kind of crazy but, like it, i just like there's no words to explain like what it felt like i don't i don't know it's <laughs> like mm. it felt like i was in a candy high like yeah. that's what it felt like i was like, just like it was just yay! so fun it was just so fun because i was always laughing yes <laughs> <laughs> i know i had to do your never mind <laughs> I had to do a video about you and like say like what I'm gonna miss about you. And I was like, I'm gonna miss her annoying laugh in the dugout every five <laughs> seconds. I had to do one about KP and I said I'm gonna miss playing Build a Mansion Tycoon on Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> if I had KP, I'm gonna say I'm gonna miss the field shaking when she walked <laughs> away. <laughs> That's a joke. This is on podcast. I forgot. That's a joke. We just make jokes. We with are each other. just <laughs> like that. That's the why that's we were so good. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing I think when we played 
a wasp. Oh, I'm just going to say it. We played a wasp. Am wasso. I allowed to go pee? You we can. We're probably almost done. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm um, going to my face. Oh, my God. So okay, just this hold is it. Gonna <laughs> this is going to go to our teacher. Like, but holy poo. <laughs> Ms. McQueen, mm-hmm. she has me. <laughs> Fourth hour B days. But when we played Owasso the first time, and obviously, like, we didn't have anything against them, but obviously, like, they acted at least <laughs> that they had something against us and yeah. it was very very obvious yeah. they made it obvious yeah so like the fact that like sal and kp and you were like making all those jokes to each other i don't think they understood like no. that was how that was how our team got along like yeah it was all just this funny game yeah. <laughs> it was literally like <laughs> it was just boo. a joke like, we, we, just we wanted to be the best we could so bad but we just wanted to be a family more yeah like, I you agree. know what i mean i agree mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, there was no part of us that just, like, I don't know. So much good stuff from last season. I can't even. I just love high school softball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I never thought, or words <laughs> you'd never hear from <laughs> out of my mouth. I make that TikTok. I love high school softball, or words, like, you never thought you'd hear out of my mouth. Because. Yeah. <gasps> but I also really never hated high school softball. <laughs> For real. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's get back on track. I would say, like, my year, like. From my freshman year. From my freshman year. Okay, I'm running. Can I go pee really fast? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be done by the time you're back. Okay, well, I'm going to run. I really uh, you're not fast, so. <laughs> Her voice sounded so much louder whenever she took it off. <laughs> but, like, my difference from, like, my freshman year to this year. Obviously, like, I played more this year. But, like, just even, like, the connection from yeah. freshman, no, sophomore, yeah, junior, senior. Sure. Like, everybody. Like, we had two freshmen last year, and obviously, like, it was me and Madison, and we were, like, close with the team. Madison was close because she'd played with, yeah. like, the upperclassmen before. But, like, from my personal experience, like, I didn't feel that close with, like, the seniors and stuff. I felt close, like, through the juniors, but, like, with the seniors, I had some I was close with, but otherwise, like, it wasn't that kind of, like, friendship that I was, like, I'm going to be friends with them forever. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Like, this year, this is going to be, like, the thing, like, I'm going to remember their birthday every year. Like, I'm going yeah. to, I don't know, I'm going to go to their <laughs> college games. I'm going to, like, I'm just going to see them around town and we can talk for hours. So yeah. it's just, like, it's one of those things that, like, I was so excited this year because I knew, like, it was going to be one of those years mm-hmm. that, like, I will never forget a single moment that oh happened. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. And, like, I don't think I'll ever forget anybody that played on this team because, yeah. like, it's We're a record-setting team. Yeah, so. it, it was just, it was insane. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so either we finish it, but, <laughs> so I feel like either we finish it. I want to talk about, like, some, like, four or five, like, the best players we saw this year, like, from other teams. Obviously, like, I feel like that center fielder from Owasso was really good. But, yeah. Like, nobody really. She was a really good hitter. And she was, like, let's be honest, she was, like, the nicest one on oh our my team. God, she yeah, was so she nice. She was so sweet. Um, Briley. Briley Seifert. Oh, yeah. She's she was, good. she was, in, she's just incredible. So, um, let's see. Ava Bush. Ava Bush. Did you see that catch? With the Sports Center top 10. That was off yeah. of Abby Carr. Like, imagine doing that yeah. off your teammate. Oh, she's back. Yeah. <laughs> So we have we have. I that told you I could pee fast. That okay. center fielder, <laughs> um, uh, Briley, Briley, Ava Bush, and A- Abby Carr is obviously incredible. We didn't play him, but like yeah, she's no, she's I always going to be amazing. And um, then, honestly, like I want to give it to Liberty North. Like they li- just came incredible. out of nowhere, and nobody was expecting no. Liberty North no. to come out and be this good. And like I, I give them a round of applause, like. Mm-hmm. Cause that's hard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Liber- if anybody, if we go famous in Liberty North is listening, go good job, Liberty guys. North. We love you, Liberty we North. Love you. And you were so sweet. Yeah, we so yeah. sweet. And played. We're about to go in your the dugout. Third baseman actually go- plays on my, not my team, but Top Gun. Mm-hmm. I think. I think team. I saw that. Yeah. And there was so a girl sweet. that literally hit the grand slam in like the first yeah. inning, and I was so like, like, I feel like Liberty North as a team. Like really just shocked me. That's you know an offense I mean? you need to be afraid of. Like yeah, yeah. very mm. athletic. And it was like they had like college kids to like UMKC and stuff, but it was like girls I'd n- like never really heard of yeah. or like seen play. Yeah. But I feel like that's what caught everyone off guard. Like yeah. Yeah. just nobody like really knew nobody. what they had. Yeah. Like so. I could na- like I'm gonna be completely honest. I could name like three people on their team, but yeah. otherwise like as a team like as a whole, seeing them like. They literally, kind of like us, they didn't care how they did. Yeah. 
they just like they went out and had fun right. and that was the awesome part okay Sid was there any like player that you saw this year that you just like give a round of applause to because they were just awesome Morgan Hart oh um, god you didn't need to play <laughs> <laughs> um box jumps got in the way of your <laughs> success Morgan um let me let me think let me think for a second Does it have to be from a different school? I don't like know. No. I mean, South obviously has good girls. Like, South will always have good players. They just have, like, Michaela. I, uh, I know I know. she's, like, my teammate or whatever. <laughs> but like or, like, your best friend or, like, probably going to be your college roommate. <laughs> but, like <laughs> but, like, she's good. Yeah. She, she okay. Good. Ca- when I used to play with Michaela, like, I just, like, anything that was hit there, I just knew it was going to be caught. Yeah. Like, the diving play she made was, like, uh, unreal. Yeah. Like, Madison Russ for our team. The the, the mm-hmm. Rob home run that she caught and the diving. Uh, I just, like, when you put girls like that in the outfield as a pitcher, like, it, it's just so it's just much, like, like, it's like a. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I got to say Abby Carr. Yeah. Abby Carr. She's. <laughs> she's ridiculous she, but did, she did a no hitter during the championship <laughs> I'm like four. Eight, in eight, 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 okay. eight inning 16 just, yeah. like, just a regular day for is Abby she committed? Mizzou uh, she committed no. to Arizona State and then she yeah. decommitted and now she committed to Mizzou. I never knew she decommitted until she committed to Mizzou yeah me like, either but that's gonna be a really good fit for her cause like yeah and I mean who's not a good fit for Mizzou M-I-Z for all my listeners Z-O-U oh, you. <laughs> hey, uh. um <sighs> Obviously, Ella Carmack for South. She's, I don't know, should I say this? That's the one that oh hit no. a home run yeah, in our yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, yeah. She's I good. agree. I thought she was older than me until literally this summer when I saw her at a camp yeah. and I realized she's in I the I didn't same know she was me. that young. Yeah. And she's super sweet. Yeah, she's, yeah. She has she's a lot so of potential. Uh, she, okay, yeah. she's so pretty. I'm sorry. Oh my she gosh, she's so pretty. pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's stunning. Ella, I hope you're listening. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're so pretty. I don't know you, but. Okay. So, now that we named all the pretty people and all the really good <laughs> people, uh, let's close this out and just, yeah. South we love you, out. GB Softball. We love oh, GB this Softball. This is Kenna Moore's, like, last day, like, reminiscing Aww. on it because it's our banquet tonight, Oh, it too. is our banquet tonight. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah, we're going to dress all pretty, so. Come out. <laughs> Don't. Oh, this is so sad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very sentimental moment. You guys are the first episode of. Inside an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Inside an eagle. Stay oh tuned for God. more. Inside an yeah. eagle. This has Cut. been episode one. <laughs>